For roughly 25 years, off and on, Annette Spaulding has been diving at the marina at the mouth of the West River looking for petroglyphs. The petroglyphs that Spaulding is looking for went missing under the water after the construction of the Vernon Dam was completed in 1909. As time and silt slowly eroded and covered the petroglyphs, Spaulding has, has taken up the task to find the old relics for culture and history that surround this town. After years of searching, Spaulding did locate the smaller of the two petroglyphs, and now filled with joy, she feels like she's getting closer to the much larger petroglyphs. It's a, um, a very... There's something about looking for this that's been very... Um, I'm sorry I got choked up because I was so excited to find it. Um, I've looked so many hundreds of hours underwater, hundreds and hundreds of hours. I, when I start something, I'm really committed and I have to finish it. But this is a really spiritual um, situation for me. The smaller petroglyphs, similar to the one in Bell's Falls. The round face and the, um, the eyes are just dots and nose with two what appears to be feathers or antennas that are um, on the top of its head on a beautiful, significant rock. As the sun sets on the Connecticut River, Spalding will be out another day. If you have that adventure spirit, you can find it if you really stay committed. To help uncover history. For more on the story, go to www.reformer.com.